Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the management, principal, staff, and students of the Andhra School, Munwa Pune, we welcome you all to the 10th annual cultural event, Arbi Theatre. This event is an appreciation for music, dance, and drama, and to enjoy its magic. We all have been eagerly waiting for this day. The journey has been traversing, motivating and exciting. In other words, a true celebration of learning. Our chief guest for today is Dr. Abhay Mahindre. Please welcome him with a huge round of applause. It's an honor and privilege to introduce our chief guest. Dr. Abhay Mahendre. Dr. Mahendre is the Director of Perinatology, Administrative Head NICU and Consultant Neonatologist Hadapsar Pune. He has PhD General Management, MBA Hospital Administration and Healthcare Management, Fellowship in Perinatal Medicine, DNB, TCH, MBBS degrees to his credit. Places like NSCB Medical College, Jabalpur. CJLN Hospital and Research Center Chhattisgarh, Fortis Esports Hospital NCR India Faridabad, Cloudline Hospital Bangalore, Sayadri Hospital and Noble Hospital Pune have experienced his medical expertise. Presently, he holds the position of Director Perinatology Administrative Head MICU at Noble Hospital Pune. This is surely a commendable body of work. Many congratulations to you, sir. Let us hear for Dr. Abhay Mahendri. Sir, we wish to present our compliments in green 
to you to help you cherish this day. Now I request Rishi to come forward and present the same. <coughs> Advik Chaudhary from class 4 Cedars. For dramatics, we have Arini Sanding from class 4 Rider. For dance, we have Krita Rajan from class 4 Renner. 
From class four, Jaina. For football, we have Bihan Tepude from class four, Vega. For martial arts, we have Sharanya Pawar from class four, Raichal. I request everyone to participate. Skating, we have Ayan Sena from class 4 Dana. And lastly, for basketball, we have Sana Gia from class 4 Cedars. I request Dr. Mahindri to facilitate our activity. Congratulations to the winners. I now hand over mic to Sai So ladies and gentlemen, it is time to move towards today's presentation and experience the much awaited extravaganza presented by the students of class 4. One earth, one family, one future calls upon individuals communities, governments and international organizations to transcend borders, ideologies and differences. It urges us to come together, pool our resources and work towards a shared vision of a better world. We are privileged to showcase the vision of a better world through this presentation. Have a great time at the show.
delegates from different countries to the G20 summit.
a delegate from Italy to say a few words. Greetings of the day. I would like to congratulate India for shouldering the presidency of G20 for the year 2022-23. We extend a complete support for global challenges. Italy will support international cooperation to distribute vaccines, prove financial support, strengthen social protection and encounter employment impact for the crisis in developing countries. India and Italy, both ancient civilizations having rich cultural heritages, have known, interacted and traded with each other over 2000 years. Italian port cities were important trading posts on the spice route. These exchanges have given opportunities in the fields of art and culture. Let us watch an art form, Tarantella.
Australia is a place where traditions meet fashions. Australia works constructively with other G20 economies in pursuit of strong, sustainable balance and inclusive global economic growth. Oh, is that so? How can we forget Australia's national animal kangaroo? It's a well-known fact that kangaroos are the symbol of Australia. They are presented in the Australian coat of arms. The first image which springs into someone's mind when he is thinking about Australia is one of a cute kangaroo. They have been featured on coins too. It is believed that Australian dance is originated with the Aboriginal people who first inhabited the country. These people had rich and varied culture expressed through dance, music and storytelling. Dance has always been an essential part of the Aboriginal culture. Wow! I will really like to see this dance. Absolutely. It is a shared concern that affects people worldwide. 
Let's hope our discussions for G20 can lead to meaningful solutions. Beginning of Argentina, it's not just about its food. It is also famous for its Argentinian Spanish dance. Argentinian Spanish dance? What's Argentinian Spanish dance? And why is it to so significant in Argentina? Ah, Argentinian Spanish dance is more than just a dance. It is an integral part of a culture. It originated in the working class neighborhoods of Buenos Aires in the late 19th century. Then, Argentinian Spanish dance is passionate and dramatic, often sending a story through the dance. Wow! That would be incredible! We would love to learn a few Argentinian Spanish dance steps and immerse ourselves in Argentine culture. Fantastic! After we satisfy our hunger with some delicious asado, we must find a place to enjoy some Argentinian Spanish dance. It is going to be an unforgettable cultural exchange. Argentina, 
then you must be well acquainted with the famous soccer dance that Messi performed for his adoring fans. Absolutely. That moment is each in the annals of the soccer history. Messi's dance was more than just a celebration. It became an iconic symbol of sheer passion and devotion that soccer fans like us have a beautiful game. It goes to show us how soccer transcends boundaries and becomes a universal language of joy and unity. Indeed, it's a beautiful aspect of our culture. Soccer is just not a sport, it is a unifying force, a source of pride for the entire nation.
incredible. I've never in my song food and dance could capture the heart and the soul of a culture. That's the magic of Mexico, my friend. Our food isn't just about flavors. It is about celebrating life, love, and togetherness. Viva Mexico! This was a celebration of Mexican culture. In our culture, we also boost our global access to education, transforming teaching and learning practices for an increasing technological, internet and knowledge-driven world. The education-driven economy and social development in a transi transition towards greener and digital economies has a major, major role as well. you both for this wonderful experience. I'll carry the flavors and spirit of Mexico with me forever. Hasta luego! Hey, indeed, it was the rainbow of different cultures of the world. Yes, all of us sank into a depth of music, dances, light, and joy. Wait, wait, wait. Don't step over the clock. We have seen the culture of various G20 countries. However, we have forgotten about the agenda of it. Oh, yes. We Indians are privileged to have the presidency of G20. Mahatma Gandhi said, be the change you wish to see in the world. We take an oath to promote green development, climate, finance and life, accelerated, inclusive and resilient growth and accelerated progress on SDGs. Let's take the oath that together we will make G20 a catalyst for global change. Je donne le meilleur de ton époque pour me lamenter Ne pas le droit de voler, ok 
It was a spectacular performance. With this, we come to an end of our cultural program. Now I hand over the mic to Sai Raghav. Wow, what a stunning show. This is exactly what we do at the Orbis. Celebrate life and learning. Hope our young performers were able to sweep you off your feet with their confidence, talent and exuberance. Now I hand over my to Ankita ma'am. I now request Dr. Mahindra to address the gathering and share his valuable thoughts. Good morning all. Uh, at the outset, I'd like to thank the management of the Orbis School for inviting me for this uh, program. Uh, nevertheless, a mesmerizing performance by the kids of the post standard. I'd like to congratulate all the students and more importantly the teachers who have taken a lot of efforts for this case to perform like this. I remember when I was in gold standard, I was knowing only two things. Scholarship ki exam de hai, a board ki exam hai, So that we can get admission in the good school in the fifth standard. For the growth of the children, the school and the home environment, both things are equally important. I can say these are the two sides of the same coin. During the COVID period, when the schools were off, no, only online schooling was going on. After that, I've seen a lot of kids with autism spectrum disorder, ADHD and that was because of lack of social environment. I entered the school I think 15 minutes prior to the program so I was the school has not lived any corner of the school or any wall which is not teaching you something. So that's the efforts taken by the school. It's really great. Life is like Thali. That means when we have, we need to have everything, dal, chawal, sabji, roti, everything. That gives us proteins, fats, carbohydrates, micronutrients and vitamins. Similarly, the kids should have everything in their routine life. It's not only the study. They need to perform in the shows. They need to have some activity in some sort of sport, some sort of music. Necess it's not necessary. They should be best in that one. But they should explore the taste of each and everything, that's what I believe. And school is taking the active parts and exploring all the aspects of kids' life. I congratulate the school again for that thing. When it comes to the parents' role, uh, one of my students of MD was taking the thesis topic uh, related to the incidence of the obesity uh, in the preschool children. 
So, in addition to the thesis topic, I just told him to ask two questions to that preschool children. Papa kya karte hai? Mommy kya karti hai? So, will you make 68% of the student answer? Papa TV dekhte hai, mommy khana banati hai. <laughs> so, children see, children can tell what they are seeing. They don't see what you are doing in the office. In this school also, in the, most of the kids are having the specs. The vision problem is there. In COVID period, yeah, you need to have the online stream, but the screen time is increased dramatically post-COVID era also. And you cannot tell your child not to watch the TV when you are watching the TV. You cannot tell the child not to have the fast food when you are having the fast food. You can't tell the kid you should sit in a proper place, have that uh, lunch, dinner, everything on the dining table and when you are coming from the office, sitting on the sofa, asking the wife to have everything on the sofa set. So whatever you want, the kid should have, you should start implementing that thing in your routine, your culture. Then only the, all the things will go smoothly and kids will grow. Once again, I'd like to congratulate the teachers, the students, and the great parents. Thank you so much for inviting me. We will keep your words in mind as we strive to reach greater honey. Thank you, sir. I now request our Director Principal, Pujan Ram, to come on the stage and present my work. Memento to our chief guest. effort put in by our teachers to make the show happen. I would like to invite them on stage as we wish to acknowledge their fantastic contribution. I would like to call Manisha Ma'am, class teacher of 4 Vega, Bhavna Ma'am, class teacher of 4 Vegas, Ashwati Ma'am, class teacher of 4 Writer, Priyanka Ma'am, our music teacher, Yogi ma'am, our dance teacher. Kinnari ma'am, our art teacher. Gauri ma'am, our Hindi teacher. Sajitsa ma'am, our art teacher. Sajitsa ma'am, our IBD teacher. And Sajji ma'am, our coordinator for their outstanding support and guidance. Our standing for the institutions for the dedicated involvement and the dedicated to such a satisfaction. Now I call Bhavya to propose for job time. An event like this, it's many days planning and years. Their many hands and heads have contributed in many different ways. So here's a big thank you to everyone who has been a part of the show. We extend thanks to our chief guest and special invitees for their give encouragement. We thank all the parents for their wholehearted support and for being actively involved in the presentation in many different ways. We appreciate your engagement and this definitely calls for a huge round of applause. to place on record our hearty thanks to the management, our principal and the headmistress for the guidance and involvement at each step. We express our gratitude to the teachers and mentors, our special gratitude and thanks to our admin, volunteers and health staff for the continued support and help. Last but not least, we thank all the students 
what will be a long stage. I'm leaving it to you. Thank you very much. Now I hand over the mic to Rishwata. Now I request all gathered to rise for the national anthem. Thank you.